Desade, glad to see you. Sadly, we couldn't stop your cousin. He suddenly stormed our position, along with a horde of enraged creatures. We didn't stand a chance. And now there are beasts attacking us relentlessly. My men are doing all they can to stop them. We thought it best to stay here to keep the path open for you, should you want to face your cousin. Thank you. You did well. I'll do everything in my power to catch him and stop him from carrying out his plan. Keep holding on as long as you can. I need to be able to reach him. Wait! There's a group of creatures coming! them green blood he's right we must help them stop these creatures are you sure every minute gained is a minute that allows you to save us glad to have you with us kurt just like the good old days and thank you too afra it is an honor enough with the talking green blood go and stop constantin i'd hate to be doing this for nothing in that case thank you and good luck to both of you oh and afra be careful Is this the last time we'll see each other then? I don't know. Go. There you are. I was starting to think that we would die here for nothing. Your cousin just passed through here with a horde of beasts, and he keeps sending us more. We won't hold very long. We're not used to fine creatures like these. We are, and we will hold long enough for you to reach the heart, even if we must die in the process. But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the ritual at all costs. If Enon Milfrichtemann dies, we're all doomed. I'm well aware of that, believe me. But here come some more beasts. To arms!
I'll stay with my people. And I'll stay with her. One blade more can't hurt. We need to prevent the beasts from following your tracks. Yeah, we could use some help here, to be honest. I wouldn't have put it that way, but the Moridigan isn't wrong. You see? Over and done. You should go now. And may the volcano give you its strength. Well... Good luck. There you are. Praise the Enlightened. Your cousin... ...has already reached the heart. Our other allies informed me. They are also trying to stop the creatures. What do you intend to do? Pursue him all the way there and do everything I can to stop him. In that case, may the Enlightened keep you in his divine... Oh no. More beasts are coming! Be prepared! I'm staying with my people. I knew you'd say that. Well, I wasn't going to let the young ones get all the glory. Your help would be a blessing, father. You see? You should go now, my child. Be careful. We are all praying for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful, too.
Hold the tin. Restrain him.
sorry. Why? Why have you done this? But for you. For us. So that we may live free at last. This makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed, used, and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us. Perhaps, but I've seen death, cousin. And I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power, allowing me to get rid of this. To send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of foicles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me. And we will be gods together, forever. Trust me. You won't regret it, cousin. Could have predicted when my two young students left the port of Serene that they'd become the gods of Tiafredi, thus plunging the world into chaos. Certainly not me. So it seems that I am a poor teacher. Amongst those who had tried to prevent the ritual from taking place, only a handful of dazed survivors remained helplessly facing hordes of creatures following the orders of the two cousins. Afra and Petrus, former rivals, fell together. They couldn't accept this treason from the one they believed in. As for Vasco, he managed to run away and join the Nort fleet. Rumor has it that he went to their island, his heart full of bitterness, and never left it again. With his help, Kurt managed to leave Tiafredi, but only to die on another battlefield. Siora had done well to go back to her sister, who tried to lead a rebellion for a while, but just like the rest of the clans, she eventually acknowledged the power of their new gods. Exiled from the island, all our nations sunk into a state of constant warfare each accusing the others of being responsible for their terrible defeat. The congregation is now on the verge of falling, and I have no doubt that the others will follow. The lives which haven't been taken by war will be taken by the Malikor. On Tiafredi, the Norts report that nature has reclaimed its rights in the cities. After a period of chaos that saw the death of many rebel islanders, 
the survivors reportedly all ended up acknowledging the power of the two cousins. But sadly, this is nothing but hearsay, since the news we receive is scarce and getting even more so. done this but for you for us so that we may live free at last this makes no sense Constantine it's madness you don't understand because you're still attached to the old world this old dying world which to survive has betrayed used and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us perhaps but I've seen death cousin and I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. 
I have been offered unrivaled power, allowing me to get rid of this, to send the old world back to its inevitable death, and to build something new here, something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its voices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of foicles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here with me, and we will be gods together forever. After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. Some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent, and with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malikor is decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. This victory earned Afra the respect of all the native clans. She now spends most of her time with them, oh, when she isn't with the man she loves, of course. Zieglinda took Kurt as an advisor, but he insisted on keeping his place alongside his former student and friend, watching his back, as he always had. Siora obtained the title of Marl of the Red Spears alongside her twin. She leads them with wisdom, but often reunites with the one she still calls her Karantz. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his brother-in-arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much-coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the seaside Nemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with the Renaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Duncas and his people spent a lot of time with savants and theologians Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, 
they restored balance between the new world and the old. Following the investigations revealing the horrifying practices of Dr. Rassili, the Alliance changed their methods and even appointed an ethics council to oversee the work of its scholars. The public revelations of St. Matthias's life led to a deep change in Teleme. The Ordo Luminis was dismantled for good and the missionary's purpose is now to establish dialogue rather than conversion. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Norts changed their methods. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Under Zieglander's control, the guard returned to the honorable values that had made its reputation. Despite the negative influence of some shady members in their midst, 